join up to the strike force. This part of the year is six weeks of, of Big Bash. It's great to get the opportunity over here with the Adelaide Strikers, and I'm really excited to be able to do that. Um, I think uh, in the shorter form of the game, it's probably I've been more successful at, at, at that uh, in 2020 and one day cricket and then uh, probably four day cricket's been you know probably third in line in terms of you know the, the way I've been able to perform but uh, look as I say I'm, I'm really looking forward to uh, starting here with the Adelaide Strikers. Yeah there's quite a few of us but uh, I think that's a big part of what uh, Darren Berry's about is, is definitely having a good spin uh, uh, team together and uh, we're all working together we know that um, you know not everyone can fit out of the whole squad into that first team and certainly the second team but we've all got a role to play and over the journey of the whole tournament, you know, we'll definitely all play a part in uh, in making sure we, we secure the victory. Look, I've really enjoyed, you know, keeping fit and I, it's just part of what I do anyway is, um, you know, whether I'm playing cricket or not, I enjoy getting on the bike and going for a run and going to the gym and all those things, so nothing's really changed in that respect, so I'm, I mean, I feel like I'm in great shape to, to play if required. I think everyone's looking for an ageing league spinner and uh, Adelaide have brought theirs in and that's lucky enough to be me and McGill and Hogg and uh, Warney as well, so it's great that it uh, and incorporates not only the, uh, I guess, the existing players, but players that have got a proven record as well, and then uh, also some young guys. So I think the, the competition is exciting because it does allow those opportunities with eight teams now, and the, the lists are a bit bigger, just to give those opportunities to, to everyone who's been involved in cricket. I think we're all competitive beasts, um, being spinners, and uh, you know we, we certainly like to be and finish a game being the, the leading spinner in a game. So there'd be no doubt as we come across it and cross paths with all of them, uh, we'll be competing pretty aggressively. That's really exciting, you know, that we've certainly got the cream of the, the international crop, I suppose, and with Kieran as well. I'm looking forward to seeing him. Um, for many, many years I've been, uh, in case I've been playing against Adelaide, I've been writing notes about how I'm going to avoid, you know, and avoid getting smacked around the park from him. So thankfully he's in the same team, so that's a good thing. But, um, you know, just the experience of Johan Bota and his, his, uh, the way he, you know, plays and has been really successful for South Africa um, and certainly for his Champions League team as well. Um, you know, there's, uh, there's great things to learn from all those international people. Well, I think um, there's a barrage of pace. They've certainly got the, the big steamers all, all fired up and ready to go with Dirk Nannis and Sean Tate. And I think there'll be a, a uh, with, with Tatey coming back here to Adelaide, I think there'll be a good rivalry there. And certainly the batsmen are looking forward to that challenge as well. And there's Shane Harwood, who's probably just been off, a, out of the scene for a little bit, but he's still bowling some pretty good steam as well. So, uh, and um, the leading shield take, wicket taker as well, and Jade Herrick um, has also part of their squad so they've certainly got the quicks um, so uh, I guess it could be quicks versus spin at the Adelaide Oval on Sunday.